Hey guys, Alex here from Pokemon TCG HQ. I'm back again. Um, it's been three weeks or so since maybe I've done another last, my last video um, on, I believe it was Waterbox. Um, but through some encouragement of a couple of friends, they've just mentioned just, you know, find some time to and, you know, I'm, that's what I'm trying to do. It's something I enjoy, it's something I do, like doing outside of just playing the game, just sort of looking at the game from a different, different, yeah, different, different perspective. Um, but, you know, my last three, four weeks have been quite hectic. Unfortunately, I've been on holiday. Uh, it was great. Uh, thanks for asking. Uh, I was in Marseille in France, you know, watching the Euros. I uh, went to four different games. It was an unbelievable experience. Um, other things sort of in my life just generally happen. I've been just busy with life things, work. On top of that, we had a storm not a couple of weeks ago, which, uh, for well, London it was pretty hectic and it caused um, this sort of damage where currently there's no ceiling underneath that wallpaper. Well, yeah, just pointing in the right place. Um, so it was a quick patchwork job there. So um, yeah, I've been a bit busy. Um, one of the other quick things I'll, I'll quickly mention is that uh, why I don't make so many videos is because I actually make a lot of mistakes. And when I make a mistake, I'm the kind of person who just stops recording and has to do it over again. So, if I'm like 10 minutes into a video, I will actually just stop the video and just re-record it. Um, it. Takes a lot of time. And it's something that I'm just... I, I'm just gonna, from now on, just move on from. Just, if I make a mistake, I'll deal with it and I'll... Yeah, face the repercussions later. Um, so what I'm going to show you is a deck which I've uh, I, I it's, it's well the, see mistake. So what I'm going to do is show you a deck which I personally enjoy playing. It's a deck which is um, tends to do well on occasions. Uh, it's never been like the best deck in format, but it always will have a place currently still as it's still in a format. Um, and that deck is um, Mega Manectric. So I'll just show you and bring up my list that I enjoy playing. So I've played this kind of list uh, a couple of times. Um, I had a my girlfriend actually played it as well at Hong Kong Regionals, which if she had any sort of practice, she would actually done pretty well at because all she seemed to face was Mega Rebazas. Um But so th this is actually the list Pretty much the list I played. We, you know, it, it's still a pre Fates Collide deck, so it actually had one judge in, uh, which I've changed quickly for an end, if you haven't noticed already. Um, so it all revolves around uh, Mega Manetric, so everyone's seen it before. It came out in Phantom Forces. It's a Mega Pokemon evolved from Mega Manetric EX, uh, 210 HP Lightning Pokemon, um, which is pretty important because, you know, a lot of Pokemon now are lightning weak and they're pretty small targets like Shaman, Mega Requazas, U Battles. Um, but for lightning and curse, it does Turbo Bolt, um, 110 hit damage, uh, and it has an effect which is attached two basic energy cards from Ridus Papa to one of your bench Pokemon. Now, uh, so Minetric, a lot of the time it's partnered with multiple different Pokemon. Um, I'm of the belief that it's probably one of its best partners is itself. Uh, so as I said, so it's evolved from a main at Tricky X. Um, 170 HP EX, pretty standard. Uh, again, Lightning Pokemon. First attack uh, is overrun for a colorless energy, 20 damage, and this attack does 20 damage to one of your bench Pokemon. Um, Assault Laser, which was really p um, underrated at some points, but is actually a really powerful attack. Lightning Colorless, Assault Laser, 60, 60 damage plus. If your opponent's active Pokemon has a tool attached, this attack does 60 more damage. Um, so both these Manetrics are weak to fighting um, and resistant to metal, so it takes 20 less damage. Mega Manetric actually has free retreat, which makes it even better, um, makes it amazing in fact. Um, and that 110 damage is just so vital, even just knocking out Shamans quite easily. Assault Laser does it on you know Shamans with lightning weakness, so it's pretty handy as well. Um, a lot of people now. Um, so what you? Uh, so what we actually do have? Oh my god! 
This is pissing me off. Right, so, Manetric EX. Mega and me me Mega, Manetric and Manetric EX. So as I said, a good sort of strategy is actually with free retreating Manetric, Mega Manetric EX into another Manetric or me another Mega Manetric EX or AZing or Max Potioning and then you can Turbo Bolt back onto the other Manetric on the bench. Um, this is what makes Manetric so powerful. It's quite a hard Pokemon to knock out already with 210 HP and the fact that you can re free retreat it um, at will um, and possibly heal the bench one and then just reattach more energy to um, another Manetric or to another su another support attacker uh, makes it incredibly powerful as a Pokemon card. So with the release of Generations we have this very expensive Jolteon EX card. Um, it's 160 HP which is a bit on the low side. Um, still a lightning Pokemon. It's got two attacks. First attack is for a lightning energy. Swift, 30 damage. This attack's damage isn't affected by weakness, resistance, or any other effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. However, the main attack of Jolteon EX is Flash Ray, the second attack, which is a lightning, double colorless. It only does 70 damage, but what is its main focus is actually the the effect of Flash Ray. During your opponent's next poke next turn, next Pokemon. God. Prevent all damage done to this uh, so during your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from basic Pokemon. So this, what makes this so great is that there's so many basic Pokemon in the format which is doing so much damage. You've got Night March, you've got Seismitoad, you've got Giratina. Just by using Flash Ray, it can't be damaged from those Pokemon. Um, so inherently powerful um, once you get powered up. Um, it also has free retreat similar to Mega Manetric, so it's a good starter as well. There's actually a limited number of packs that people buy of it, so you know there's not too many Jolteons around, and they're actually worth quite a bit of money as well. Um, we do use a one Raikou at EX, oh, one Raikou, sorry, which is 120 HP non EX Pokemon. Uh, it has an ability if this Pokemon has any lightning attached, uh, energy attached to it, any damage done to this Pokemon is reduced by 20. And it has Thunder Lance for 50 plus, and it's similar to Keldeo EX. Uh, but with lightning energy, this attack does 20 more damage for each lightning energy attached to this Pokemon. Very good non-EX attacker. Um, quite tanky as well if it has an energy attached to it. Um, and it's just sort of a, a good go-to lightning support attacker for Manetric EX. Uh, moving on, you've got two Shaman EX, uh, which everyone knows what it does. Set up. Uh, when ability set up when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may draw as much, sit up to six cards into your hand. Um, coinciding that with a lot of Mega decks, they play Hooper EX. Uh, you would have seen it in the in the Water Box deck as well. Um, may, just for its ability, Scoundrel Ring. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto the bench, you may search a deck for up to three Pokemon EX. Reveal them, put them into your hand, and shuffle your deck afterwards. One of the best setup. Uh, Pokemon decks. Uh, one of the most put it up. <laughs> gonna explode. Hooper EX is one of the most useful setup Pokemon alongside Shaman. So you just you would simply grab maybe two Manet Manetric EXs or Manetric, a Jolteon and a Shaman. Then you can just sort of explode off your turn one as soon as long as you have an Ultra Ball. Um, yeah, and it's just generally very powerful as a setup Pokemon. Um, so this, the version I run is actually a bit different to what you may see online. What you may start seeing to come out now is actually a Manetric EX or Mega Manetric EX Garbodor sort of variant. Um, this is still very much a straight Mega Manetric uh, EX deck. Um, the supporter line that I'm currently running is four Sycamores. Uh, discard your hand, draw seven cards. Um, currently playing one N, whoops, which I've just accidentally got rid of. Which I'll quickly jump back in if I can. Uh, one N, uh, which is shuffle your hand. You and both you and your opponent shuffle your hand back in, and draw the same number of prizes. Uh, draw a number of cards, the same number of prizes that you have left. I play two Lysander. Um, for a moment, I'll show. You, I'll sort of explain in a short moment. So sort of coincides with a synergy with another card that I play in this deck. One X Maniac, sort of to slow down your opponent in terms of stopping uh, your opponent's abilities. 
uh, one AZ because it works as another heal card. It works as at the worst as another Bianca by picking up Shaman. Uh, you pick up Hooper and use Hooper's ability again. Um, it it's just works very well. Now, so going back to Lysander, I play two. So switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with his or her active Pokemon. Very powerful. Obviously, everyone knew uh, we used to have Pokemon Catcher in uh, the format, so it became a supporter card. Um, but in my build, I actually played two Target Whistle. Now, Target Whistle is something that's sort of seen as a niche play. It's seen a lot in Night March decks because you want to be knocking out EX Pokemon. Uh, so, Target Whistle is put a basic Pokemon from your opponent's discard pile onto his or her bench. Now, the reason why I sort of play that deck is uh, play that card in this deck is because you're generally quite fast and quite quick at setting up with Manetric EX and Hoopers and Shaman. Um, you could potentially just go ahead on a price on a pri prize race, so therefore sort of Lysandering a Shaman, knocking it out, Target Whistle, Lysander a Shaman, knocked that out. In this format now with N, it does slow you down a bit, but then you, by the time you've probably knocked out two Shaman or two uh, EX Pokemon like that, like as such, um, you probably would have built up a board such as with two Mega Manetric EXs, powering each other up, healing each other off, Jolteon EX, or Raikou as well. Um, but generally, Target Whistle is, is a very underrated card. By playing two, it gives me more out. Um, to actually hitting one later in the turn, I didn't mind discarding one earlier. Um, we originally, I originally had Puzzle of Time in this deck um, to be able to reuse Target Whistle and such, but you know, using four spaces is a bit harder than just just using another Target Whistle and dedicating the rest of the space elsewhere. Um, continuing the rest of the deck, I play four VS Seeker as standard. Um, so put a supporter card back into from your discard pile back into your hand. Four Ultra Balls to make sure I get the set of Pokemon I need turn one as soon as possible. Uh, tra four Trainers Mail, probably one of the most overpowered cards in the, in the format. Um, it doesn't sound like much. Look at the top four cards of your deck, you can find the Trainer card and find them, put it into your hand. But it just allows you to dig through your deck so much more quicker. I also play uh, four Super Scoop Up. Now, how I think this synergizes well with Manetric EXs or Mega Manetric EXs. Anything, any Mega Manetric Mega Mega EX that is damaged, if you super scoop it back up, you just heal up all the damage, you get the um, uh, Manetric Spirit Link back, you can reattach it to another one, attach it back to, attach an, your energies that you had on it originally to the new Manetric, Mega Revolve it straight away if you already had it down a turn with an energy, and then Turbo Bolt straight back onto it um, after you bench it again. It just, if super scoop up, if you just hit heads, it's generally almost a game changer in a lot of a lot of times. Um, it's something I've played in a lot of decks. I've played it in I've played it in Mega Rayquaza. I've played it in Seismic Toad. Obviously, the uh, Nationals winning list of that terrible format we had. Um, I played it in this Manetric list. Um, it's just a very good card. Um, it's a switching card. It picks up Shamans. It picks up Hoopers for reuse. Um, it just has so many different uses. Uh, I also have two Mega Turbos, uh, so occasionally you don't get the start and you want, but you know you're able to use the Battle Compressor, which I also play two of, uh, to put energy into the discard, so I can start setting up uh, Manetric, uh, Mega Manetric's Turbo Bolt. Uh, so Mega Turbo is just a quick and easy way of powering something up. And finally, I also play two Max Potions, so similar to AZ or Super Scoop Up, just healing, putting all the energy into the discard. Um, and then turbo bolting back onto it after we free retreating, it's just you know, very useful. It's something which like sort of ruins your opponent's sort of game plan a lot of the time when they don't notice that you're going to be healing. Um, again, it's just a very powerful card in a deck such as this, which has energy acceleration straight back from the discard pile. So a lot of these cards sort of synergize with each other, and um, yeah, it's sort of. It's probably the reason why I actually enjoy playing a deck like this. It's very straightforward. Um, you do just generally go for you know setting up me Mega Manetric, like two Mega Manetrics um, per game. Maybe having a Raikou or Jolteon, depending on what you're playing against. You'll generally have one or two Shaman on board, or if not, a, a Hooper EX on board as well. Um, 
Oh, I'm sorry, and I also play, as I've mentioned, four Minetric min Spirit Links to make sure I can actually attach it straight away. Of course, people play Megaphones in 06, you don't, you have to be careful when you attach it, but generally you should be fine. And two Rough Seas, which, because of all the healing that I've currently got, this is mainly just sort of a stadium bounce. Um, but of course it's very useful as well with one string each player's turn, that player may heal 30 damage from his or her water or lightning Pokemon. You've seen it from the water box deck, you see it again here now. Um, so as I mentioned, it has its bad matchups it, as, as with all decks, I mean it's obviously a, an, e, a, an EX heavy deck, so may struggle against Night March. Um, in the tournaments that I have played, I think I won one and lost one against Night March. Uh, one one purely just by out trying to outspeed it and hexing it um, on the right turns, um, judging at a time when I was playing judge, and then target whistling uh, and the shaman's back onto the board. Um, and of course, when I lost, they just completely outsped me. There was nothing really much I could do. Um, it's, it generally was good against decks such as um, Waylord EX decks, which were just uh, full stall, uh, full on stall decks, which you just keep on. Constantly hitting that 110, and eventually they just run out of resources of healing or picking up their waylords. Uh, it was good against Cybertoad decks. Um, generally, it's pretty good. I mean, obviously, it struggles also against fighting decks, but we haven't seen too many fighting decks out and about at the moment. Uh, Trevenant can be tricky, but you know you have enough, you have big enough Pokemon for it to struggle to knock you out, and you play stuff like Rough Seas, um, and you're just sort of free retreating out of Pokemon anyway. Um, so that's the deck list. Uh, it's probably quite a boring deck to play, but I'm going to play a couple of games to show you anyway. Just because, you know, I need to get a video out there. So, we'll go to a quick game. Oh, new ladder reset. I haven't even seen this. Oh, it's Groudon. Rhyperia, Groudon. And the Maxi's right here. Okay, so, you might notice I've also got no decks currently built. Um, I'm in the process where I just want to reset everything. I want to read a lot, read a lot into the game again, and also just build all the decks that are relevant, um, and actually start testing for worlds as well. So let's just... right. So looking for a game, as I mentioned earlier, it is slowly getting darker in London, uh, which means I'm starting to go more and more blue uh, or different random colours, which my screen will pop up with. I'm playing against a metal colourless deck, which probably means on the basis of what's happened in recent times, it's probably going to be something like Genesect um, EX deck. So I lost a coin flip, so Lee, you, Lee um, is choosing who goes first. Ah, we just got to wait. He's um, not particularly quick, I just sort of going quickly. I don't start with any basics, so I do Mulligan. Uh, my opponent does have a basic. Two basics, in fact. Um, so I'm having to show my hand and then Reshuffle back in, and we have a Manetric. I it's a very good start, I think. I can't really complain with this. So Manetric EX starts. Free Lightning. Ah, just to mention, I think I completely forgot, but you're gonna have to believe me. I have nine Lightning Energy in this deck, so I shouldn't have too many issues in sort of recycling them with uh, Turbo Bolt. But we should soon see. Um, so my opponent plays Battle Compressor. Uh, he obviously plays Bronzor, um, evolving into Bronzong, which has the Metal Link's ability, which can, uh, which uh, attach a Metal Energy from your discard pile to one of your your bench Pokémon. So he's playing a Battle Compressor. He doesn't get rid of Energy yet. But he does get rid of free supporters, which means he probably I'm not really too sure here. Um, I mean, we'll just have to wait and look, I guess. He, Plays a Skylar, Lysander, and a Wally. He's got an Ultra Ball in hand. Is that discarding another Wally? No, nope, discarding an N and another Ultra Ball. So we'll just see what my opponent's going to grab. A Dialga EX. Okay, right. This is uh, interesting. It's been a long time since I've seen a Dialga. Um, if you, anyone doesn't know how shiny that card is in real life as well, for Metal Double Colorless Chrono Wind does 60 damage. If the depending Pokemon is a Pokemon EX, it can't attack during your opponent's next turn. Um, for f four energies, two metal, two colorless, full metal impact, it does 150. Discard two metal energy uh, from your hand. Oh, from your attached this Pokemon. Sorry. So it does use a VS Seeker for a Skylar, for a Float Stone. 
Sends up Dialga, doesn't have any energy. I'm not really too sure why he's done that. Um, I'm going to start setting up. So we don't want to train his mail first. Um, I've never been the best at sequencing my hands, but you know, this general rule of thumb, if you're going to take out cards and search things out anyway before trainers mailing, if you need something else different, uh, it's best to just, you know, grab the Pokemon you want out first, or grab the cards you want out first. So I'm going to grab a Hooper. I uh, probably should have checked my deck um, if I'm testing properly. Use Hooper's Scoundrel Ring to search my deck for free Pokemon EX. So I'm going to grab another Manectric EX, a Shaman, and... Probably just a Jolteon. Uh, get it out of my deck, put it on my bench. It's not really that much of a target. It could free retreat anyway. Um, also has metal resistance similar to Manetric. So, play Manetric down, Jolteon down. We'll attach Lightning to Manetric EX. Uh, we'll play. So, what we're trying to dig for is actually a Spirit Link. It's probably ideal in this current position, or maybe a uh, supporter. So, I'm just trying to think, it probably is better just to train as well first because Shaman can dig a bit further. Uh, we do get an N, which is handy, it's good to have in hand. Oh, my opponent only has one card in his hand, but I will just leave it there for now. We'll set up for free. There's arguments not to take anything, I probably should have done that first. Uh, another trainer's mail, so we're digging for that spirit link. And we get a VS Eagle, which isn't very good. Uh, we'll play the Super Scoop up. We hit Tails. Not too much of an issue. We'll just overrun for now. Putting some damage on the board. Um, we'll just not put damage on the Bronze Ore. Opponent's probably likely to have another support in hand because he only played a Skylar. Um, if he doesn't, I'm not really too sure what he's done. There we go, he has a Sycamore. Discarding a Energy Switch, which is interesting. So he gets his third Bronzor out onto the bench. Um, in my hand, I've got an N, which isn't too much of an issue. So I can attach the other Lightning to my Benetric. And maybe get another attack off. So we have AZ. We don't want AZ right now, so we can attach Lightning there. We'll just N, I think. Digging for that Ultra Ball Spirit Link combo. Ah, nothing. But, my opponent has attached a tool to his Dialga, which means I can do 120 damage. <laughs> we'll play Battle Compressor. See if we can just uh, get rid of some more cards. So we've got two Lysander, so we can leave one in the deck. Wait for one to pop up here for VS Seeker. Uh, let's have a look. We can get rid of Sycamore. Um, it looks like a Sycamore is prized as well. And I think we can get rid of an AZ. Um, Lazy, you know, it's useful, but we kind of want access to it when we uh, when we do want it. Uh, so we'll play Super Scoop up. Go ahead, pick up the Shaman. We'll bench Shaman again for another two. See what we get. We get a tar Trainer's Mail and a Sycamore. So we Trainer's Mail. And, oh my god, I'm not drawing very well here. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to Battle Compressor. Just burn through a couple more things. We want to keep the Super Scoop Ups for healing our Manetric EXs as well. Um, as another possible option. So we're going to get rid of a... Let me get rid of... We don't really need a Raikou in this situation. Um, it doesn't really do enough damage in this point. Um, in my mind, I'm just trying to think what else we go through. We want one Target Whistle. He hasn't played down any shamans yet, which is a bit of a shame. Which means we're gonna have to knock out more stuff. I'm gonna get rid of Manetric, because we don't we already have one and two out. Um I don't think he's gonna be able to knock out one. He may be able to use Chrono Wind currently on my on my Pokemon now. And um you know, we'll get rid of another energy. We don't need another energy, I'm taking too much time. Uh Let's set up for another two. I'd rather just be completely set up. I have Sycamore in hand anyway. We do have an electric. Which isn't a bad shot. However, we'd have to retreat. So I'm going to retreat into Jolteon. 
Uh, because it has free retreat, and I'm just going to Mega Revolve. Uh, I think this would put me in a good position, because I have two energy in hand anyway. If he does Chrono win my Jolteon, and I just free retreat it into the Mechanetric, then I can start powering up everything else on my bench. Um, so I don't think it's too much of an issue if Jolteon takes a hit, to be honest. Um, not actually that unhappy over that situation. So, we'll wait for my opponent, see what he does. I did take a bit of time. Um, it's dropped to Heatran. I can't remember what it does. It does some heavy amount of damage. We go still drop 40 plus 40 if there's a stadium in play. 130 for Steam Blast. It's four energy costs. So it's quite a lot. He does have to commit a lot of energy to this Heatran. I mean, it does have three Bonzors out. Let's put a Metal in the discard finally. Along with an escape rope. Gets his first Metal Link's Bronzor out. Okay, so he does attach to the DL, but he's probably going to Chrono Win. He Metal Link's likely to the Heatran. Right, so he does Chrono Win. So if I left my Mega Manetric up there and just attached, I wouldn't be able to um, use uh, Turbo Ball next turn. But because of what a situation I've put myself in, I'm now able to... Oh, I don't want a Mega Revolve. I'm actually going to sick them all. Because I know I have one more Mega Manetric in deck. Um, I haven't hit any of my Spirit Links yet. There they all are. Uh, which is useful. And what I can do now is actually just... Turbo Ball. Doing 110 damage. Five in this card right now, and I'll put it onto Manetric EX. So I've put the Alga into 90 HP da um, left, which is on top, um, you know, within range of just an assault laser, for example. So my opponent's not in a good position. Um, I hope, unless he suddenly changes it. For he does Chrono Wind. I have resistance. That only does 50 damage. Uh, 10 extra more from the Fighting Fury belt. Uh, okay, let's have a little look. So I'm going to drop a Rough Seas and heal. I don't actually need to play an N or anything. I could AZ and pick up a Hooper just to get a Mega Manetric, but it seems like a waste. Um, in fact, I can AZ my Mega Manetric and put it back out and then attach another Spirit Link to it. That's probably actually quite a good play um, as an option. For sure. I'm um, going to attach a lightning energy to Jolteon. Heatran can't knock out Manetric EX um, purely because it's also got resistance, and I don't think there's any way of manipulating damage to actually do 170 damage with a Heatran. Maxing out 150 with uh, Muscle Band. If he plays Giovanni, it's 170, but then again, it goes down to 1 150. Um, so I'm, I'm quite happy with this situation right now. I've got Rough Seas out in play as well. I've just got the Hex. Oh, here we go, Steelberry. Kind of does Sycamore. So I just took, got the Hex off my prizes, which is pretty good against de decks like this, which rely a lot on abilities. Um, allows me to actually um, just stop my opponent from Metal Linksing, although he only does have just a one Bronzong out. Uh, which is probably not too good for him. He does bring up the Mahitran to attack my Manetric. So it does 110 damage, so 20 less because of the resistance. Um, I think all I'm going to do is actually AZ my Manetric here. Could I, I, I could max potion it. But you know, I'm just showing you the different ways of sort of synergizing the actual deck and healing process. Um, Manetric, chuck another Spirit Link on it and get a draw into it. And what I'll just do is I'm just going to Turbo Bolt and uh, put two energy back onto my Manetric. And then actually, that Heatran's actually within range of an overrun. So even if he just retreats that, or I Lysander and attack something else. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not too sure what my opponent can do right now. He does Megaphone. Um, little does he know I have one more Spirit Link in hand. I didn't actually have to attach it there, but alas, I did. Da -da -da. 
I actually need to do actually he does oh, I did he does play energy switches which is something that I haven't really noticed too much of. And my opponent has just conceded he, you know, he probably hasn't found any route to victory. Uh so trading tokens, yeah. Right, so let's play uh, another game. See if I can play someone who actually does have shamans and actually target with some shenanigans. I'm waiting to get that Mian Shouse. Of course. Great deck. Fun deck. For anyone who actually played someone like Don Fan before, Focus Ashes. Ah, oh, let's have a little look. So I'm playing a fire deck. Um, what is that gonna be? Could it be Flareon? Flareon, uh, Shaman, Camera up. I'm not really entirely sure. I always go Tails, Tails never fails. You won the coin flip, which is always good. I'm playing Nud Man. Knud Man. I don't know. Who are you? Nice to meet you. Hey. Right. Um, again, very good start, I believe. I've got two Manetrics. My opponent doesn't have a basic, so I can uh, start a full up one. Um, we'll put both down. Because we're going to be using both of them anyway, as I mentioned before. Oh, I'm playing a Delphox deck. Flare Witch. Once during your turn. Turn my head. You may search your deck for one fire energy and attach it to one of your Pokemon. Shuffle your deck afterwards. You also got, you know, the mystical fire. Um, essentially a shaman. Um, every turn. Which is pretty cool. And it also has Keldeo's attack, similar to Raikou. Which is the more fire energy attached. Um, an extra 20 damage. So, ooh, hello. This is not bad at all. So I'm going to attach... The only thing I am missing is actually energy, which I'm going to try and get. Um, so I'm going to Ultra Ball. I'm going to Ultra Ball with a Sycamore Max Potion. And... I've only got one. So Hooper and one Shaman are prized. I've got one energy prized. Okay, so, you know, I can work with it. So Shaman now. I can't get energy from Trainer's Mouse, so I'm going to play it down first. Get another Spirit Link. It's possible he could play a Megaphone, which would sort of derail it, but I do play four. So I'm going to play Shaman for four cards. Ah, there we go. Two Energy, Battle Compressor, Energy to the Active. We're going to Battle Compressor. Um, let's have a look. Jolteon doesn't seem like it's going to be very good in this matchup, but we're going to leave it there for now. Discard two Lightning Energies and discard a Hex Maniac. We'll need it for his ability to stop his ability um, quite regularly. And I think we're happy to end the turn there. I mean, we've got a Mega Manetric in hand. We've got Lysander if he does play Shaman, so we can you know start going ham straight away. And we've got a second Lightning Energy, um, which is probably as good as it gets, to be honest. Oh, there you go, there's a Mega Vent. That's painful. But could be worse. My screen, because I've seen so many red stuff, it's kind of gone red. Oh, there we go. Back to blue. So an escape rope, I'm just gonna choose my other minute trick. Um he will a wisp for ten damage. Alright, okay. Um I didn't put AZ in here. Machine. I'm just gonna attach here. I think I'm just gonna sick them all. If I hit a super scoop up heads or another Mega Manetric and a Spirit Link, I just assault laser and win. Uh, we'll play the sick them all. So, we actually just won, but I'm gonna just super scoop up. Um, unfortunately for all my opponent, this wasn't the greatest game, but, you know, I didn't have the greatest game one moment ago either. Well, not the last one I put online, but, yeah, was it. So I'll just make her evolve. Um, I have no idea how good Delphox really is, but there we go. Manetric and Assault Laser for 60 damage to knock out his Fennekin, which is a bit of a shame. We'll do one more game. Um, hopefully I get to see, or show you guys, a bit more of the deck, because we actually haven't even used the Target Whistle yet. This is horrible. I like, I like Target Whistle as a card, and it's not being, not being used at all. So, 
Psychic Colorless. Is this the dreaded Trevenant deck? I won the coin flip, which is the way I never win a coin flip in real life, but you know, online everything's fake. So, here we go. Again, the hand isn't actually too bad at all. Um, there's not too much I can complain about here. Uh, so, Manetric start. Done, we'll have a little look what we're playing against. We are playing. Ah, okay, so we have Lysander in hand, which means I probably want to keep it in hand. Um, because it's such a useful card. Um, I can get out Trainer Lock um, quite easily just by Lysandering a Shaman if you uh, play the Shaman down. So, be a bit risky here. Gonna make the Super Scoop up has to go because it's not as important right now. Trainer's Mill helps me get that, so I'm going to get rid of Lightning Energy. I'm going to grab... Let's grab another Minetric. Put the other Minetric on the bench. We'll train Mill. Train Mill. Trainer's Mill. Trainer's Mill first. Force a habit. AZ. Actually, that position I probably don't even want to get anything. I'm gonna shame in self for four. So all my decisions could be down to absolute rubbish right now. Um, arguably it is. Just train as well and see what we get. Oh, it's bad. It's really bad. Mm, I don't want too many targets, we might as well chuck that down. Minette Trick onto the bench, Sycamore, I've already made so many misplays, um, probably should have thought about this a lot more than I have. Uh, Minette Trick, Spirit Link, Lightning Energy to the active, Ultra Ball, the Raikou, and the Sycamore. The Shaman, so we can set up again. Keep AZ just in case he does Lysander something up and then uses Ascension. Ugh, that's horrible. Right, I'm gonna VS Seeker for the Lysander. And we'll just end the turn here, I think. So, what we're expecting is he's gonna attach energy to the Phantom. Um, just use Ascension. He's bursting ballooning, which, okay. Well, which is what we sort of naturally see in a lot of decks nowadays. If he does burst in balloon and then use Ascension, he puts it in range that I can assault laser his Trevenant um, and actually win the game, which is pretty bad for him. Um, he doesn't play the Shaman down, which is pretty natural. <laughs> Guess we're not my two, my two rough seas are now gone. No, one, sorry. Um, which means leaves me with one to bounce the stadium, which. If I can continuously get Mega Turbos, I don't think it's too much of an issue. He has dumped two gold VS Seekers, so his hand must be very good. Well, not very good, but too good that he has to get rid of two very powerful cards. Does get the Shaman. And does just use Ascension. So, right. If I get an Energy and Mega Manetric, I'm going to get. I probably shouldn't have dug for this, but I have now, and I missed it. Right, so we'll just get a Soul Leader. And there was two, two Mega Manetrics, well, I haven't actually counted, but there was at least two Mega Manetrics, possibly two Mega Manetrics left in deck. Still got an N in hand. He does break Evolution, still within range of a, uh, of a Turbo Bolt. Shaman is now down, so if I just need to start getting um, set up with my Pokemon. That's Team Flare Grunt. Not too much of an issue. Silent Fear is my board. If I can get rid of this Trevenant, I'm not in a bad position at all. So there's the Mega Manetric. Okay. I've got an energy in hand. I'm going to play the end. Ooh, I don't want to give him an extra card. He didn't seem to have much. So I'm going to Turbo Bolt. Knock out his Trevenant. Put him down to just his Shaman. 
attached to two energies, and he's already conceded, so... Yeah, um... Dang, I didn't get to show you Target Whistle, but... You know, this is how powerful the deck is. It actually is a very good deck. It's a very consistent deck with sh Shamans and Hoopers and Mega Manetric in general. So I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully I get to make more videos. I say that all the time, but I'll try and mean it. If you've enjoyed it, if you didn't like it, put a thumbs down on it. I don't really care. I do care. It hurts my feelings. Please don't. Thank you. Bye.